Well, we're here today to uh, show you a little bit on this is our 90 degree rotation to zero degree rotation for um, samples and this is your sample holder. Uh, we have this uh, gold plated sample plate that screws in. On the bottom you're going to see a retaining ring. So what that does is if you noticed when uh, you have a sample holder with threads you have a little uh, vibration and a little shift. So what happens with this you could adjust it from the bottom if you take the bottom shroud off and your plate and actually you could screw this in tighter so you could set the, the height of your sample and as you turn clockwise to engage to this you see it turning so once it bottoms out then it'll lock it in place so that will help stabilize the sample in order to rotate this correctly what you would have to do is loosen up these four screws which actually hold the rat shield in place so you would loosen them up with the 564th allen key and at the same time then you would take these loosen these up and then you could rotate this accordingly uh, what we have here we have scribe lines that show zero position uh, to 90 degree and uh, 45 so it's a small increment so you can actually rotate uh, the hardware so right now what we're doing is installing the sample holder that holds the sample so what you want to do is you line it up, line up your scribes with this center scribe so that will give you your zero position. So you line that up. Tighten your screws down evenly. Put a final snug on it once it's lined up correctly. Uh, make sure you snug them down good because uh, you want to get good contact. And there you go. Here we're showing another uh, sample holder. This is the same as this one, but it is this one's gold plated and also has a cartridge heater brace to it. But I just want to show you like on a larger sample holder on the body, sometimes what you want to do is when you screw it in, I mean you could adjust the height of your sample by screwing it in. You could use that retaining screw that's inside to lock it in place so you don't have this small wiggle. The other thing is if you go all the way through and you want to take your sample down to the bottom, uh, we also will send you a retaining ring. It's just really a jam nut. So what you want to do then is on the bottom side of your sample, you want to put this nut on. And then what you could do is actually, you can actually tighten this nut tight that will lock in your sample. Right, the other thing you could do is if for some reason you lose the retaining ring or it's hard to get to, um, what I would recommend is also you could use some a piezon and on your threads. That'll help stabilize your sample and also still give you good thermal contact. Every once in a while when you disengage your sample you know, on and off, on and off. What I would do is take a cotton swab with some isopropanol and go in and just go through and re-clean your thread. I mean, both here and also on your sample.